so from Chaturanga, if I'm going to do Cobra first, okay, there's Cobra and Upward Dog um, causes a lot of confusion in a lot of people. Needs chest chin, and that's another one, that's, that'll be a fun one to do. Um, eight limb pose. But now we're, we're going to work on Cobra, okay? Um, It's hard doing individual poses, you know, because I'm so used to doing it in a sequence. Um, it's hard breaking it down like this. <coughs> Just starting in the pose. But uh, Cobra. So, yeah, we're down on our front. Uh, we're on our bellies, prone. Hands in line with the chest, okay? Shoulders retracting. Okay, it might be that our face is on the floor. I need to be mindful of my mic here. Uh, feet pressing down. Legs pressing down into the floor. We're going to engage the bum. Nice engagement through the glutes. Shoulders retract and we're going to lift up. So we've got King Cobra where we press into the hands and lift up. Okay, that's King Cobra. I, I tend not to do this just because of the lower back compression here. Tend not to do that so much in my personal practice and when I'm teaching. What I tend to teach is the Cobra in general. So what we want to experience in Cobra it's pulling the heart through, the shoulders back. Strong in the bum, so we've got that lift. Get those legs pressing down, definitely the feet touching the floor. What we want in a cobra is if we were to lift our hands off the floor, this is as high as we need to be. I mean, maybe it's here, but as long as we've got that gluteal engagement, the shoulders peeling back. If we can take our hands off the floor, this is a good cobra. Maybe we can do it up here, shoulders peel back, nice and neutral through the neck. Again, good cobra. What people tend to do is they come into some sort of half up dog, half cobra. And again, all I'm feeling is massive compression into my lower back. And that's not healthy over time. So again, controlled, good back strengthening pose. Engage the glutes, shoulders peel back. Nice and neutral through the neck. You can come light onto the fingertips. You can keep the hands flat on the floor if you wish. But we're not pressing into the hands. That's not where the strength's coming from. The strength is coming from the back of the body. That's where we get lighter into the hands, maybe fingertips, you can play a bit of piano. Maybe you can take the hands off and do a nice jazz hands, whatever feels good for you. Shoulders peel back, strong in the bum, feel the pull, either side of the spine, up into the shoulders, those erector spinia down in the back. Strengthening those spinal muscles. Keep those feet pressing down into the floor, nice and neutral through the neck. Shoulders retract. This is what we're after in a cobra. Maybe here, maybe here, maybe here. Okay, but we're strengthening the back, we're using the back. People tend to just press into the hands, lift the body up. They're getting into a back bend, sure, but they're not strengthening the spine. Okay, again, we're coming back to that functional practice. There's no right, <laughs> there's no wrong. If you want to be a little bit more flamboyant, be a little bit more flamboyant, by all means. But listen and feel what it's doing to your body okay if we want to be strengthening the spine if we want to be strengthening and protecting the spine then think about that muscular engagement through the back of the body to build strength to lift up then we're strengthening the spine protecting the spine and the vertebrae and the cartilage okay that's what the functional aspect is then we've got a stronger back helps with the stronger core because if we're strengthening core 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 but we don't have any muscles in the back it's not a strong core, okay? We need to work on the sides, we need to work on the front, we need to work on the back. And what happens is when they're doing, you know, they, they got their bums up, they're collapsing into the spine here, they're not engaging their core, they're not even engaging their back, they're just here halfway between, they're dropping the hips down, they're getting a massive lumbar compression here, they're lifting up, they're pushing, they're pushing into the hands to push the body back. They're not even engaging, in their, engaging their core to lift up. You know, they're pushing to the hands, get the body back, Tuck the toes, press back through the arms. You know, they're into some sort of downward dog thing. Like, ooh, ee. But, you know, then drop to the knees and then <laughs> flop down. Where's the integrity? Where's the strength? Where's the control? What are you getting out of your physical practice apart from shaking the body around? If you want to do that, you can dance. Um, which is also bloody good as well. Um, but, yeah, it's what we're talking. Functional. Well done. So that's Cobra, strengthening the back. See you in the next video.